I could sit here and talk about Pat Summit, and I think I will for a while. When I was a player, we played Tennessee every year, and we beat them every year. And I'll never forget, Pat played everybody. She wasn't afraid to play anybody. And she said before her career is over, if the last thing she does is beat Leon Barmore and Louisiana Tech. And then I was um, selected to be on the 84 Olympic team, and she was the coach. And I'm starting. I'm doing great. And we go to Taipei, Taiwan before the Olympics, and uh, I wake up and can't walk and had a stress fracture in the top of my foot. So immediately my thought was I've worked all my life, and now they're going to have to pick up an alternate. And I remember her calling me in her room, and being that she was a player at one time, I know she just knew what I was thinking, and she just comforted me and said, I will not pick up an alternate. You've earned the right to be on this team, and the doctors tell me in four weeks you're good to go. And so that was the first time uh, that I really had a one-on-one -on -one with her in a hotel room. And then we, of course, go to the Olympics. We win the gold medal. And then I get into coaching. And I remember that, um, you know, Pat had Tyler, and uh, I was pregnant with my first child, and I was like, can I do this? Can I really do this and be a good mother too? And Pat came to Louisiana Tech when I was an assistant coach, and I kind of cornered her before their practice started, and I said, help me. Tell me how I can do this. How can I make this work? And she, again, comforted me, and she told me that it can be done. And she told me all the things that she did to help get help as a mother and be a very good coach. And then years go by, and uh, I go through my divorce, and years go by, and then she's going through her divorce. And she called me, and she said, I need your help. Well, I thought to myself, wow, Pat Summit is calling me about her divorce and help her and walk her through what to expect and how to handle it with the children and how to handle it financially and all those things. And um, that's the kind of relationship I had with her. I was not uh, one of her players, didn't know her like the players do or, or, or did. I, I was not one of her assistants, but those moments just will last forever. When she was diagnosed um, with Alzheimer's, um, you know who her last game was against? The very last game she ever coached? And I'll never forget that press conference. It was a bittersweet moment because while we were happy, I just realized she wasn't ever going to coach again. And how happy can you be um, for your team and yet at the same time realize your role model and somebody that uh, you looked up to and has done so much for this game, I, I didn't take any great pleasure in winning that game other than you're a competitor. And then um, Kramer was playing baseball here at LSU, and they were in Knoxville, and I, of course, flew to the game, and he bugged me all that morning, Mom, go see Pat, go see Pat. At that time, she was in a facility, and I didn't want to see her. I knew where she was. Um, health-wise, and I just refused to go see her, and he just wouldn't let up. And something that morning just told me, go. And I called and got permission at that time from Holly Warlick, who, who had the lady in charge, and I went to see her. And it was um, just touching. Um, it was all I kept telling her was, I love you, and she would repeat it. And I thought one of the funny, cute stories is when they brought her to meet me in the the room that I was waiting for her in, she was drinking a purple Gatorade as they brought her to me. And I just thought that's so pat because, you know, she's, a, she's an athlete. She's drinking a Gatorade. And then four weeks later, I was awakened by a phone call before daylight that she had passed away. And, um, you know, she was a, a role model for me. She was a mentor. Um, because our lives were very similar, both as competitors, as former student athletes, um, as coaches and mothers, and, and divorced mothers. And so uh, we backed Pat 
There'll never be another one like her, ever. I don't care how many championships anybody wins. She has done more for this sport um, than most people really know. And um, I was blessed to, to have uh, been a part of her life, although a very small part. She was a very big part of my life.